In the beginning, the road was perfect actually, and then it sort of deteriorated the higher you got. We have some crazy riders with us who's got some amazing control over the machine. We just went there, we parked the bike. The first thing that we did is, you know, we gave high five to each other. We had a big group hug. They did not even realize that they don't have to jump at all because, you know, you'll get out of there. They were like super excited. Yes, we made it. <laughs> I've never been so high. I climbed up the glacier about 30 feet, sat on it and tobogganed down on my bottom <laughs> and then others copied. Over the years it has become the mecca for bikers to stand next to the board that says Kardungla, the world's highest motorable road and stand in line just to take a photograph over there. Little flags that they let us sky, we saved one so that we can, when we reach lay, that we tie to the bike as a moment of uh, accomplishment. And it was probably one of the most beautiful scenes I've seen so far in the world. I actually wanted to take a moment, so I just went up on that rock. I sat there for some time. You almost end up in a desert-like setting. It was really unreal, actually. It's got sand dunes, it's got pebble-filled flatlands. A lot to offer for a biker. You can spend days in Nubra and never get bored. stream going through the middle of the campsite which was amazing and it was really nice weather. So it was a perfect way to cool the beers actually, uh, perfect uh, natural cooler. Someone came up with the rule that you're allowed to do whatever you want to someone as long as they've got their shoes on. So the people who fell asleep um, got permanent marker all over their face, uh, all over their arms and I'll leave it to you, your imagination to what, what was put on there. Cheers. The Ari guys had organized something like a bonfire in the camp. Eventually people uh, started gathering around and uh, it turned into a great, great party. That bonfire uh, helped in getting to know a lot of other people. I think it was also for the first time that the group really came together. So we had good music, dance and all these things. Uh, a lot of Indian dancing, so I learned something. Around midnight, uh, the electricity light went off for uh, two minutes. That is when people realized that uh, if you look up, there is a magnificent view up there. The best part of it is probably that uh, you don't have any internet connection or anything like that, so I really enjoyed that. Kids playing. Yeah, it's great, all the kids uh, waving as you go along. Gotta make your own mind. <laughs> Gotta take your own time. You know, we went over the second highest pass in both directions. You know, those, those really stick in the mind. A bit of time to muck around on the bikes, doing a uh, kind of donut.
So one of the most challenging days that we had for this Odyssey was our Kilong to Kazal leg. Whenever there are water crossings or whenever there are silly falls, everybody works as a team together. They end up forming their groups. They end up riding together. I'm coming back after 15 days with my friends back on my bike. We got to a river crossing and it was fully backed up with um, a truck that was stuck in the middle of the river. Sashin was the first to ride through. He didn't need any help, which was amazing. I'm still surprised that he managed to do it without any help. So there was 20 of us in the water passing the bikes between us uh, with the rider on them trying to ride through this amazingly big stream. Santar, Rahim ko bolo, ek apna basic set of tools or spare carry karega. Copy? So the motivation level was very high. And I think that is what helped us uh, really succeed uh, in getting the group uh, here by nightfall. Some of the scenery that we passed was a little bit unreal to me. It didn't feel like Earth anymore. There were a lot of bystanders, people looking on, so uh, it was quite special. Uh, it's actually like 18 days, like none other than riding. It's fun. Man. It's about the people you meet, like I made so many friends. So much beautiful topography. We were riding and it was fine. It was raining a little bit, which was quite nice. So at Royal Enfield, when we say 18 days like no other, we truly mean it. See you guys next year. Cheers.